Hey guys, this is Esther. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a thrifted Thursday or thrifty Thursday. I'm not really sure, but I saw Sierra from Cooley Craft Corner and she does these on Thursdays and I just love seeing all her finds. So basically it's a haul, but like not from Michael's or Joann's or your typical uh, craft store. More like thrift stores, estate sales, vintage stuff, you know, stuff like that. So I don't know if I've shared this with you guys or not, but I opened a physical mini thrift booth where I include a lot of vintage items, but also a lot of modern clothes and modern stuff like you would at a thrift store. Except this is a booth, like a little section. It is like a inside flea market type of place. It's like a huge warehouse and there's a lot of like spaces or booths about the size. They vary from size to size. My size is the size of a, maybe a parking spot at a store. It's very small, but so far I'm loving it. But I also love going when I do my like um, stocking days because I get to go around and see what a lot of people have. So a few of these books um, I bought from there. The other stuff is from um, estate sales. So first off, I have these which are like um, paint samples, but I just thought they were so cute. Like for journaling cards, I could cover the front. Look at that cute pink paper. I thought that was cute. So I got them and then I got this um, postcard. Look, it's 1989. I thought that was so cute. Look at them girls. And then I got um, these postcards. They are so cute. Look, and um, I guess you can just put a stamp there and send it out. So I smell them. <laughs> That's how I test vintage things, you know, if they're vintage or not. I smell them. They smell very vintage, but they're in this michaels bag and i didn't want to buy them if they were not vintage but it says six sets and i know there's more than six cards in here so i know they just put them in there to keep them safe and then i got look at this cute little strawberry patch i just thought that was cute so and then i got this um calligraphy paper let me see Oh, I like the, is it patina? Is that what it's called? Um, oh, look, it's like almost see-through. I love this. Well, this is fun to add into the journals. And they give you the space between, oh, okay. So they give you like instructions on how to use or how to write calligraphy, I guess. Cool. And then I also got this paper. I love getting paper because you guys know when I do journals, like it's so cool, look, and it even has the lines. This is so cool, I don't know what they used this paper for, but I really, really like it. And then the last paper thing is this paper pad, and this is tracing paper. Um, I have, I don't know if you guys remember a long time ago, I purchased something called onion paper. So this kind of reminds me of that onion paper. Um, so I really like adding that to my journal. So I thought, oh, well I can have white one and then the blue one, which is the onion paper. And here are more cards. So these are like barely vintage because they're from 2003. And you know, vintage is 20 years or older. Like I like this part for Halloween, but then this one for fall, like a fall journal, that is so cool. So these are the fabrics and trims I got. Um, I got this little ruffle with this little delicate little loopy lace. <laughs> loopy lace, I don't know what that's called. Regular lace and I have a lot of this, but you can never have enough because I do use it a lot. Then I got some handkerchief, handkerchiefs, handkerchiefs. I don't know how to say it. And it is stained, but that just gives it more character for when we add it to the journals. And. I was thinking if maybe I should soak it in like that thing to take away the um, yellowing, but I might not. I might just use it for a personal journal, journal, or I might just keep it. I just think it looks cute. Like, imagine that as a pocket. That's so cute. I love this one. Look how pretty with the little blades. Are they birds or butterflies? <laughs> I don't know, but look at how pretty 
the delicate lace around it is then i got this little doily for 50 cents again it is stained but you know that's the beauty of it <laughs> here's another hanky i'm gonna call them hanky because i don't know if hanker can somebody tell me hanker chief chief like a chief or hanker handkerchief 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 Hanker, hanker sheaf. I don't know. Hanky. Let's call it hanky. Look at this. Um, it's embroidered. Is that the correct word? How pretty. This is so pretty. I wish this was popular now, but at the same time, I'm glad it's not because they're little special things we find. Here's another hanky. This is so cute as well. Look at that. Look at the corners so feminine so delicate i love it cut it in half you have two pages um to add to your journals then i bought this uh set of four napkins um it was three dollars actually it was 150 because i always get when it's half off but look at how pretty these are tomatoes i'm guessing i thought they were strawberries at first but they're not um and then look at this one how pretty and then look at this one and it's all embroidered like so pretty and then the last one is this one. Oh, i love this I think I've told you before, my favorite color is light purple, like lavender or lilac, but I love yellow for crafting. It's I just love it so, so much. So that's it for the linens and stuff. And now for the books. I got a small version of this because I have the big version, which I've shown you in another haul somewhere along the line. Um, but look at how cool. I love looking at the stuff here because you see the then and now and it's like oh my gosh and some things were way better than like look at the brushes and combs how pretty oh so pretty look at this little clock how pretty anyways yeah so that's the first book i got and then these last three books are from it's called incredible finds and that's where i have my little vintage not not vintage but my little thrift booth where I include vintage items and uh, modern items and I loved them because they're all Rand McNally books even though it's like the tiny version of the Rand McNally books so look how cute I just thought these were so cute look at the picture like oh my god how adorbs and they're in great condition like they're not written on or anything like I love it. Look, like this one doesn't even fully open. Almost like they didn't even read it. So pretty. And then the next one is this one. God is good. How adorbs. Guys, I'm sorry about my voice. I have been battling a cold slash cough. This is my third week. Next week will be my fourth week. I cannot get rid of this cough. I've taken medicine. I've taken teas. I've done the honey with garlic. I, I don't know what else to do. I'm like so done with this cough and my voice sounding like this my body feels good i'm my nose is a little stuffy but not really um i don't have any kind of pain it's just the stinking cough anyway sorry about my ranting but look at how cute god plans for many things to grow oh it gave me you <laughs> it's so cute and then the last one is this is the small i've shown you the large um in another I'm actually going to link in the description box below the video um, where I did the No Sew journal inspired by Thrifty Day where I show you my two huge or big large um, large uh, Rand McNally books and these are the small and this is the medium size and this one is a little bit like more tore up down here but I thought I can still maybe make a journal out of this or something but look how pretty the colors the pictures and of course the retro old style vintage style is my favorite so yeah and then the last thing I got 
actually no it's the semi last thing i got one more other thing is this like um pendant for your necklace and it is like cross stitched it is so cute and then you open it and you can put a picture but this is from avon and even though it's from avon i don't know if you can if you're able to see there that oh, there i think there it says avon i still think it's so pretty it's still old like they don't sell this anymore but i thought it was very pretty and then the very last thing is not vintage it's it was just this case with pens <laughs> I did not try them. I just opened them and saw what it was. And I was like, for a dollar, I'll take it. Hopefully there's like good stuff in here. So, oh, this is cute. Oh, Matt's gonna want that one. This is just a regular pencil. What is this? Um, I don't know what this is. If you guys know what this is, let me know. Le Plume. What is this? Pig pigment marker. Is it white? It is white. I just wrote on my skin. <laughs> a little ruler. More of these markers. Ooh. Pen touch. I have this one that I've raved to you guys about. Um, I have to see. Ooh. Nice. And then Jusset. Okay. That's a keeper. But yeah, guys, that was my haul. I'm so excited to use the stuff up. Those books ah, to die for. I'll probably hoard them for a little bit because I'm just a hoarder like that. But eventually they'll start coming out just like all my little golden books are finally coming out and getting turned into journals. And um, yeah, I've taken, I've taken some of them to the booth and I've sold vintage fabric packages at the booth and stuff like that but I also have some on my Etsy so don't forget to check out my Etsy and see what new journals I have available now anyways guys that is it for today thank you guys so so much for hanging out please like comment subscribe if you haven't if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much for coming back let me know which was your favorite thing anyways guys thank you so so much I hope that you guys like this video and if you haven't yet subscribe and join our tiny family hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos thank you guys so so much and I will see you in my next video Bye.